Hello friends, this video on electromagnetic induction part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 11 before going ahead with part 12. Now let us look at the last problem of this topic. Then we will start with some other new topics. It says that a square loop of side 10 cm and resistance 0 0.5 ohms is placed vertically in the east-west plane. Okay. So let us suppose this is my square loop. It is placed vertically in the east-west plane. Okay. A uniform magnetic field of 0 0.10 tesla. Let us say this is east, this is west, this is north and this is south. Now it says that a uniform magnetic field of 0 0.10 tesla is set up across the plane in the northeast direction. So that means the magnetic field is set up along this direction. In the northeast plane, the magnetic field is set up. So determine the magnitudes of induced EMF and current during this time interval. So why will the EM, whether EMF will be induced or not? If yes, why? What will cause an induction of EMF? Now in this case, the area is not changing, right? So what is changing? The magnetic field, if you look at, is changing because it says that the magnetic field is decreased to zero in 0 0.70 seconds. That means B is changing. So because since B is changing, therefore phi will change, that is flux will change and therefore EMF will be induced. Right? So what can we write? For the change in flux, the change in flux that is d phi can be written as db dot area. Right? Why have I written dot? Because if you look here, in this case you will see that the area vector, the normal to the area vector makes an angle of 45 degree with the magnetic field. Because in this case your magnetic field is not perpendicular, it is in the northeast plane. And this lies in the east-west plane. So if you imagine it three dimensionally, it is like it is lying along this plane, along this plane it is lying. And so anything which is perpendicular to this plane would be somewhat like this. So this magnetic field is at an angle of 45 degree, right? So this you can write it as dB into A cos theta. So here theta is equal to 45 degree. So you can write it as, now what is dB? dB, the magnetic field initially was 0 0.10 and later the magnetic field is 0. That means initial magnetic field was 0 0.10 tesla and final magnetic field is 0. So change in magnetic field will, will be final magnetic field minus initial magnetic field into area into cos 45 degree. So final magnetic field is 0 minus 0 0.10. This is 0 minus 0 0.10 into area is for a square the area would be side square that is 10 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square into cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2. Right. So now we have to calculate the EMF induced which is equal to minus d phi by dt. Right. So what is d phi? d phi this minus minus will get cancelled. So d phi is 0 0.10 into 100 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by root 2. This is d phi by dt. What is dt? Is the time interval in which the change took place. So the time interval is given as 0 0.70 seconds. So this will be 0 0.70. So this comes out to be 1 millivolts. So this would be the induced EMF. So if this is the induced EMF, what would be the induced current? The induced current will be equal to induced EMF divided by resistance. What is the resistance of this loop? It is given as 0 0.5 ohms. So we can write 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 volts divided by resistance that is 0 0.5 ohms. It comes out to be 2 milliamperes. So this would be the induced current. Thank you.
please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.